Word and Google Docs has been ruining your productivity. Here are the big three reasons and how to fix them using Notion Docs. So let's start building the Notion Docs hub together. So the first thing we're going to do is forward slash database and we're going to click on table view. Now this is going to be one of the most simple tutorials that I've done, but that's a good thing. So I'm going to click here on new table and I will just call this docs, very creative of me. So for this to work, we're going to have two databases. One is going to be this here, the docs, and the other is going to be the topics. So they will talk to each other and be connected. So I'm going to do here another forward slash data and click on table view. And then here we are going to click on new table. So this is going to be topics, or you could also call this tags or something else, folders, whatever you want. So this tags here, I'm going to click that and do delete property. And instead we want this docs to talk to topics. So we're going to click on the plus and here we are going to click on relation. So here I'll say related to topics, limit, no limit. So instead of doing show on topics, I'm going to show you how you can manually do it to actually be a lot more powerful. So we're going to click here, add relation. Now you can see we have topics. So if I write blah here, we can see topics, blah will come up and two untitled ones, which are these two here. So docs is now speaking to topics. So we're going to have two views in this docs database. One is going to be a list, so a table, and the other is going to be a gallery. So I'm going to right click on table and do duplicate. And here I'm going to change the layout to a gallery. Click on that. So here we can see the gallery. Now I'm going to change this to make these a lot smaller. So I'm going to click on the three dots and we're going to click on layout. And here we can see the card size medium and we're going to change it to small. So the first reason that this is so useful is we're going to have all of our docs in one singular database. This is going to help us a lot with just finding documents. We don't have to look through a million different folders. We can add every single document here, doc one, doc two, and doc three. And all of them are going to go here. Now what I'll do here is write topic one, topic two, and topic three, and show you how we can separate these based on topic. So I'll say that this is topic one. I'll say that doc two is topic uh, two. And then I'll say that doc three is also topic one. Now what we can do here is group these by their different topic. So I can click on these three dots here and click on group. And here I can say group these by topic. So here we can now see topic one and topic two. This is a really useful way to view documents. We have all our documents in one place. Instead of searching 50 different folders and forgetting where we saved it, we have all of them right here, but we can still use folders and that is what we're going to do in topics. So first off, I'm going to delete this tags property and I'm going to click on this down arrow here on the topics database and click on new template. Here we can say new topic. And what I'm going to do here is forward slash data table view. And this time we are not creating a new table. We are selecting the docs. So if it's not coming up in your recents here, you can search for it here. So I'll click on docs here and I'll just close that. So what we want to do here is set a rule. So a filter saying, hey, I only wanna see stuff here that is to do with whatever this new topic is. So this is very easy to do. We're just going to click on filter and then we're going to say topics and we're going to say we want it to contain new topic. Now, the beautiful thing about Notion is this is going to automatically update for us. So now this is a template here. So if I click on topic one and I click on new topic, you're going to see that it automatically loads in only stuff to do with topic one. So we can see doc three and doc one here. This is a fantastic way of working. So we can see the full list here, or we can click here and say, hey, I only wanna see, I don't wanna see topic two, I don't wanna see other stuff. I wanna click here and only see topic one stuff. The second reason that Notion Docs is so useful is that we can add all the properties that we want. We don't have that flexibility in other programs. Here we can say, you know what, I want to see the number and we could say the word count. So before even clicking into this document, we could see the word count if we wanted. So I could put that here. By the way, if you want to know how you can see the word count in Notion, if we open up doc one and it says blah, 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 we'll go up here and click on the three dots. And then down here, you can see word count three. So this is really useful. And we can then write the word count for this is three. If that is something that's useful, maybe you're writing a book, maybe you're writing an essay, yada, yada, you can see all of that here. And obviously you can add as many properties here as you want. Maybe you want to have a date property and this might be last edited. So you go in and change every time you edit and say the last edited. And then when we're working here and we're trying to find documents, we can actually sort by 
the last edited or the word count. So it's actually showing us what has the highest word count first, or it's showing us whatever was last edited. This is such a useful way to work. And there's so many opportunities here because there are so many different properties that we could work with. We could have a checkbox property saying we've completed this already. We could have a person property and notify other people, hey, I want you to go into this document. We could have a select or multi-select property to give us an even more in-depth way of searching for topics or tags. We could even have an AI summary of the document. So if I click here and say AI summary, then we could say here, I want this to automatically summarize what is this document about. Now this one's quite easy to summarize because all I've written in here is blah, blah, blah. So that one's very easy to summarize. But this helps me without having to click on the actual document is telling me what it's about. Really, really useful. Now the third reason that Notion Docs is so powerful is that we can add thumbnails to our documents. So in here, before clicking on doc one, we can see blah, blah, blah. But what we can do if we want is instead of seeing what's written in here, so if I write hello example, you can see here it says hello example, we're seeing a preview before we click on it. But what we can do is give these thumbnails so I know what this document is about without having to click on it. Now we don't have this luxury with other programs. So if I click here and I click on add a cover, what I can do here is change the cover and let's say that doc two is about how to walk my dog as an example, I can either add from the gallery here, I can upload my own image, I can find a link from online, or I can just search from Unsplash really quickly. So if I write dog walk, then here we have a dog walking image. Now when I click away, you can see it's not there. So the last thing that we have to do to make this work is to change the setting on this tab to say, hey, I want this thumbnail to be the image. So I click on these three dots here, click on layout, and I'm going to change it from the card preview of page content. So as you can see here, we're seeing what's the actual page content and I'm going to change it to page cover. And now you can see here how to walk my dog is showing up. We can also add the other stuff here like the blah, blah, blah AI summary if we want by clicking on the three dots here, clicking on properties and then saying, hey, which of these stuff do I want to see here? So I might want to see the word count. I might want to see the topic. So I'm going to say here, I want to see the topic and I want to see the AI summary. I know that doc one is relating to topic one and a quick summary of it, blah, blah, blah. So that's very useful to me. And I can see here how to walk my dog is underneath topic two. Doing docs in Notion allows you to do so much. If you want to see a really powerful system in Notion, then I recommend checking out my all-in-one Notion system called Headquarters. It is my personal productivity powerhouse and handles all of my tasks, my projects, my life buckets, my time tracking, my time blocking, my dynamic journaling, and so much more. Click on this video here to see more and thank you so much for watching.